Hey guys, I'm Ryan, and on this episode of Baking with Ryan, I'm going to show you how to make a melting snowman drip cake. This cake is so cool because it really looks like a snowman is melting down the sides of the cake. I even made a white chocolate ganache to look like melted snow. Without further ado, let's get right into the video. Here are the ingredients you'll need. Three 6 inch chocolate cakes, vanilla buttercream, heavy whipping cream, white candy melts, blue vanilla buttercream, chocolate chips, and a bunch of assorted decorations that are listed on the screen. Begin by leveling your cake layers. This is going to make the cake layers flat and it's also going to make the cake much easier to cut in the end. Also, be sure to save the tops of the cakes. Now, use a fork to break up the cake into crumbs. Then, add in a scoop of frosting and mix it together with your hands to form a dough. Form the dough into a ball and place it on a non-stick surface. Then, put the dough in the fridge. It's time to assemble the cake. Begin by spreading some vanilla buttercream in the center of a cake board on top of a cake turntable. Now place down the first layer of chocolate cake. I'm going to be filling this cake with a concentric circle design. Basically, I pipe circles around each other alternating between blue and white buttercream. Place on the second layer of cake and repeat the concentric circle design. Then place on the third and final cake upside down. It's time to do the crumb coat. Begin by piling blue buttercream on top of the cake. Then spread it out using an offset spatula. Once the buttercream is hanging over the side of the cake, spread it out to cover every single part of the cake. Once your cake is covered in buttercream, use a cake scraper to make it smooth. Then use an offset spatula to smooth out the buttercream that's sticking up above the cake. Place the cake in the fridge for 30 minutes to chill. Now that the cake is out of the fridge, begin piping dollops of buttercream all over the sides of the cake. Start off with one color and then fill in all of the gaps with the other buttercream color. Just like before, use a cake scraper to smooth out all of the buttercream dollops. Also, you'll want to smooth out the buttercream that's sticking up. Once again, place the cake in the fridge to chill. In the meantime, melt the white candy melts. Now, place the cake and frosting ball that we made earlier into the candy melts. Then, make sure it's entirely covered in the candy melts and place it back on the original pan. While that's drying, let's make a white ganache drip. Begin by adding white candy melts to a heat safe bowl. Then, pour on some hot heavy cream that you microwaved for a minute. After that, stir the mixture until it's smooth. Once it's smooth, pour the mixture into a squeeze bottle. I like to do this using a funnel. It's time to make the drips. These are going to be the melted snow for the cake. Begin by holding the squeeze bottle on the top edge of the cake. Then start applying pressure. If you want the drips to go down farther, apply more pressure and vice versa. Once you finish the drips, add more ganache to the top of the cake. Then spread it out with an offset spatula. Next, place on the cake ball that we made earlier. Following that, squeeze the remaining ganache on top of the cake ball. This will make it blend in with the cake better. Now use an offset spatula to smooth out the ganache. Then add on the eyeballs to the cake ball. I use black fondant, but you could also use chocolate chips. Now place on the snowman's nose, which is a sprinkle, and place on the scarf, which I made out of red fondant. Another decoration that I added on is some arms. I made mine out of black fondant. The final decoration that I made is the snowman's top hat. To make this, take the bottom half of an Oreo and place on a marshmallow that is dipped in melted chocolate. 
Once it's melted, place the top hat on top of the snowman's head. Now the cake is done. All that's left is to cut into it. Thanks so much for watching. I really hope you guys enjoyed that video. If you did, be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my YouTube channel for more cakes every single week.